when you have someone to declare to you, or when you declare to yourself that it's time, what you're literally saying to yourself, and she said it, I've been here too long. I've been here too long. The Lord told the children of Israel, you've been here too long. It's time to go. And sometimes, just like Joshua, when you've been in a place too long, you've taken on the attributes, the language, the lifestyle, the characteristics of something that you went to or something that you was with or something you passed by because you were there too long. Y'all know we do it. We go down to a different uh, state or something. We go down to Texas and we stay for a little while. We come back with a little language. When you've been out there too long, they say, why you talk funny? Because I was over here too long. I want to declare to some of you tonight, as the woman of God said, that it's time to turn the page. And you've been here in this place, in this mindset, where you are too long. Too long. If you are ever going to get anywhere in God, something has to die in order for something new to start. And she said, even if that means that you have to die out to yourself tonight, it has to go. You can't put in new wine to a, oh, come on. You just can't do it. You have got to let God, watch this, uh, uh, burn it out of you. Get it out of you. And then you got to surrender to God. Joshua didn't know how he was going to lead. Watch this, he didn't even expect to have to be the leader next in line. But he was in the right place at the right time in the right season. Some of you are in the right place at the right time in the right season with the wrong mindset. So I say this, I say this and I'm meeting with all love. It's time to go to the next chapter. This is the altar call. Now, if you want to go to your next chapter, I want you to do something for me, but don't do it if you're not ready. Because when you declare in your mind, I'm tired of where I am, and I want to go further, you say that out of your mouth and you begin to show actions towards that, the enemy starts fighting you and the warfare becomes real. I'm not, I'm not talking about, oh, I hit my toe. No, I'm talking about real warfare. I'm talking about real stuff where you feel like you about to lose your mind. I'm talking about real stuff where you just want to sit at home in the dark and just, oh my God, I just can't. I'm talking about that kind of stuff. So hey, if you know that you want to move to the next chapter and you declare it today, I don't need you tomorrow saying, what is this, God? I need you tomorrow lifting up your voice and saying, God, I'm a new one. I'm a new person. And if that's not you, and if you cannot take it, I understand. But I just warn everybody, because of the ministry, because of the anointing that flows in this place, don't come to the altar. It's just not for you. And we understand that. Because I don't want you to get attacked and you don't understand it. You hear me? I don't want anybody. I went over there and my life had just turned. The devil is alive. No, uh-uh. No. So I just need you to understand. If you won't turn the page and you've been there too long, and you say, I want to change, Pastor Bessie. Minister Tamara spoke to my heart, and I'm ready. And I, I know I was here last night, and I came to the altar, but I just need more. I just need you to come down here to this altar. I just need you to come down here to this altar. And we're going to pray over you tonight. I don't care what you need, hallelujah. I don't care what it is. I just need you to come down here to this altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need you to come down here to this altar. Come on, just line up. Come on, just line up wherever you are. Coming from all over the building. Just line up wherever you are. And whatever you need God to do for you. Listen, I just need you to get into the presence of God. We get ready to tap in. 
God. We get ready to tap in. And God is getting ready to do something amazing for you. He's getting ready to do something amazing for you. And everything that you need changed. Everything that you need moved. Even if you have to die out to yourself. God said, let's get ready to happen. Oh, let's get ready to happen. Well, time. It's getting ready to happen. See, God's not going to leave you where you are. Oh, yeah. God's not going to leave you where you are. He said, if you're ready and if you're willing and if you're obedient. He said, oh, yeah, I'm ready. He said, if you're ready, you're willing, and you're obedient. Come on, I don't need you to be nervous. 